get on them. Welcome back, one and all, to Fire Emblem Three Houses. I am the Dark Seraph. I just noticed that he's not is not wearing those. No, they're not. Are those sleeves? I can't really tell. I get the feeling he's supposed to be wearing those, but there's definitely some clipping there. I can't. I can't tell. Maybe I should have let the game update. <laughs> That doesn't matter. Anyway, last time we went through the tutorial and prologue, and this time I get to have the run of the academy, monastery thing. Do I actually have to talk to the lady here? Yes. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? Yes. To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That right. is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. Yes, my lady. May I ask a favor of you? Okay. Go talk with the students. Minimap, I get the feeling that's going to be handy. No, it's Edelgard. So I found one of the targets. Okay. Pity. So you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbrook. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Sure. Yourself? Me? Well... Some think I'm a bit distant, arrogant even, but there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. Do you now? Weak to bows and stave, interesting. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. I notice that everyone pronounces Marquis differently. Or is Marquis and Marquess different? Could be different. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. Fernand. His house is that of Duke Frederand. Arnold, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own status. Oh, that sounds familiar. Can't picture any of it. I cannot picture... I can't picture where I'm getting that from. I, can't, I just cannot put my finger on it. He's remarkably intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks that particularly interest him, and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. Interesting. 
can't tell what your weapon of choice is, though. I can't really tell by that. What's that, Casper? He's the second son yes. of Count Bergley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Noted. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Oh yeah, she was the girl hiding under her book. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers' Academy. Oh, and you are the one who is very open about everything. You are front and center. Which makes sense if you are a songstress. And Petra. To the west of Fodlin is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Interesting. So you've accepted it. I never. Yes. I am the prince. I wonder if. I hope you've had a chance to meet. Oh, I've already well. exhausted all your dialogue. I need to go find the other students. Yeah. Oh, there's a cat here. Interesting. Quite a few cats. By quite a few, I mean two. Oh, Claude. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Leicester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? Sure. Well, there's yourself. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. I already know that you're an archer. Uh, what's that? Lorenz? He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on him, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, <laughs> deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. I can tell he's a swordsman. I can see the blade on his hip. Raphael. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Actually, that's about it. <laughs> Bit of a glutton, but he's built like a brick wall. He definitely looks like an axe user. But that's just an assumption. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. Interesting. 
Probably a swordsman or a lanceman. I can't really get a tell on what weapons they use. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia, and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? <laughs> she seems a bit like a mage, just by her appearance. Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter. And that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Uh, maybe a cleric? Like I said, there's no real defining point on what weapons or traits they have based off their appearance. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. <laughs> she at least looks kind of cute. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. I saw she's her clutching a bow. As stingy as they come, a habitual saver too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. That's nice. I know that I saw her with a bow, so I know she's an archer. Well, take care of yourself. Oh, and there's Dimitri. Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. Wait, do you In use case, a lance and sword? Because that's a long sword on your hip. investigating the different houses here. Did any of the blue lions catch your attention? That's actually what I want to talk to you about. But I know you're a lance user, but do you carry a sword as well? Well, obviously you carry a sword, it's right there on your hip. Do you fight with a sword as well? We're gonna find out. Me? Oh, um... Please, forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm yes. I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me. But I understand if that can't be helped. Don't worry about it. Hello. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. What is his family retainers? I see a blade on his hip, so he's clearly a swordsman. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. Another he swordsman. toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. Yeah, I can also see the sword on his hip. Another swordsman. Felix is the heir. Uh, he gravitates didn't mean to toward... do that. Ash. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Looks a bit like Robin from Awakening. And I see there's another swordsman in the group. That's a sword on his hip. I'm not against that, by the way. Sylvian? Sylvain is the heir to House Sylvain. Sylvain. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said... Well, he's always been a bit of a <clears throat> skirt chaser, so to speak. Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. <laughs> we got a ladies' man here. 
At least he thinks he's a ladies' man. We have a Casanova. And it looks like another swordsman. A lot of swordsmen in your group. Mercedes. I hear she was born to imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. I get the feeling she's either a mage or a cleric. Annette? Annette is Baron Dominic's niece. Yes. She is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the Royal School of Sorcery. She yep. is cheerful and hardworking. We got a mage. Early, though she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. <laughs> I like her already. <laughs> and Ingrid. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. And probably, it looks like maybe another swordsman? Swordswoman? Swordsperson? I don't know. Lady Knight. Yeah, she probably uses swords or lances. I don't quite know, though. That's all going to be found out in due time. I appreciate your effort. Quest complete. Uh, return to her audience chamber. How are you enjoying your time at the Academy thus far? I hope you have found our halls brimming with the vitality of well-intentioned souls. I do believe they are. I suppose it is time for you to take charge of one of our three houses of students. I must note that I am personally against entrusting someone as lacking in trackable history as yourself with such a task. But it is as the Archbishop desires. The Black Eagles, the Blue Lions, and the Golden Deer. All so different. I hope you've made it a point to get to know each of them. I have. Since you are new here, we have decided to allow you first pick. Manuela and I will take charge of the remaining two houses. Oh, now's the time when I pick. Well, I've already decided the Blue Eagles. So you have chosen the Blue Lions. Blue, led by Blue Dimitri, Lions. Correct? Yes. Your heart has made its choice then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. Who are you? I'm in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? Name this Seraph. This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Well, you're just a little Let blossom us of focus sunshine. On the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Of course not. And I love the Celtic rune on his back. I love that. I'm a guy who likes Celtic imagery, if you couldn't tell. Wait, does this mean our new professor is... No. Yep. I really can't believe it. But I was speaking to you so casually, as though we were companions. That's quite all right. I like a bit of casualty. Ca casualty. I like people being casual. Oh, I am so sorry, Professor. You just look the same age as the rest of us, and... Oh, and, and I'm sorry I just said that to you. I really must watch my time. <laughs> you don't need to worry about it. I don't mind if you treat me as a friend. You say that, but I just don't know about all of this. <laughs> you are just something else. I'll admit, it doesn't sit well with me either. 
After all, we wish to show you due respect. Sure, but if the professor says it's okay, shouldn't that be enough? That is, if your highness can consent to such a thing. After all, we're already speaking this way to our future king, so we may as well relax our speech with our professor too, right? Well, we're not in the kingdom, so it only goes to follow that we should all speak companionably. <sighs> I concede. If the professor says it's fine, we ought to accept that kindness gratefully. As for me, I'm not sure I can manage. You don't have to force yourself if it's too difficult. You're fine with that too, right, professor? The voice acting is really on point. Come to the point. training ground later. There, you will show me what you're capable of. Yeah, that's about you right. You aren't wasting any time, are you, Felix? As it were, count me in for any such battle. <laughs> I like this lot. Pardon me, but I would also love to observe you in battle for future reference, if that's okay with you. Quite Gosh, all right. I won't have you speak of merely watching. You should join us as well. <laughs> if you get injured, simply say the word and I'll patch you up straight away. Yep, we got a ma uh, yes. cleric. Do take care not to go overboard. You worry too much to do. I'll be fine, I promise. My companions, is there not something inherently wrong with crossing blades as a way to bond with each other? Huh, I never thought of it that way. Well, if that's how you feel, I suppose you'll just stay behind while the rest of us are at the training ground? Ingrid, my dearest friend, you really are too harsh on me. Oh, Lord. Professor, what do you think? As you can see, the Blue Lion House is a lively bunch, but you'll find none who work harder. I'm certain we'll cause our fair share of trouble, but I'm very much looking forward to the year ahead. Okay. Support. I have support unlocked. I know what the support stuff does. I've played other Fire Emblem games. Well, I've played the DS Fire Emblem games. 3DS Fire Emblem game, I should specify. I don't think there was a Fire Emblem game on the DS. Let me look that up. I don't think there was. Okay. There are new places to explore in the monastery. Uh, yes, it was Shadow Dragon. I'm right to the 26th. Say, while you're here, I'd like to use this device I designed to determine whether the power of a crest resides within you. Won't hurt a bit. Promise. So if I start screaming you don't in pain? Know about crests? Well, allow me to tell you everything. Absolutely everything about them. Is your calendar clear? This will take a while. <laughs> crests are a fascinating topic. But before one can dive deeply into said topic, one must first understand what crests are. They are power incarnate. Right. Said to have been bestowed upon humans by the goddess countless ages ago. They exist within the flesh and are passed down through bloodlines. Those who carry crests may excel at magic, display exceptional strength, or any number of boons. Each crest has its own power, the nature of which is beyond mortal understanding. For now. So, do I pick a class here? And you believe I have a crest? I said I weird. I suspect it sounded much. weird anyway. Yes, but we won't know for sure unless I look into the matter. As I said, crests are passed down through the blood. However, just because someone carries a crest does not necessarily mean their descendants will inherit it as well. Only hmm. a scarce few descendants of a crest's bloodline end up inheriting that crest's power. Perhaps one of your ancestors bore a crest, and you just happened to inherit it. That is how a crest usually presents itself, after all. Well, let's find out. 
Yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it straight away. Now then, please go ahead and hold out your arm over this device here. What is this? A pattern I've never seen before. Is it possible an as yet undiscovered crest has been detected? <laughs> to think, there are still crests out there that even I am unaware of. How thrilling! I like this guy. <clears throat> Pardon my unrestrained jubilation. I have much to consider. You may leave now. I have more research to do in regard to this crest. Yes, so very much more research. But for now, it's kind of hammy. Here is done. Hmm. What could this line here be indicating? Perhaps it represents a lack of symmetry. Or perhaps... What in the world? Oh, I see. It may be connected to that. <laughs> to what are you going on about? Uh, what are you going on about, dude? Still here. With each moon, professors of the Officers' Academy receive a schedule for the month ahead. It notes the days on which events and missions will take place that month. Pay careful attention to your schedule, so that you may thoughtfully plan what you intend to do each month, and when. Okay. Cool. It seems as though my schedule is pretty clear. Let's explore a bit. So this is my room. Some quests. Visit the dining hall to unlock fast travel there. The dormitory to unlock fast... Okay, good, there's fast travel. I have to go explore around. So, these are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here. Yeah. At the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here. But the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. Right. I cannot enter this room. Or this one. Or that one. Let's go back and look at my bulletin board. My student. Okay. Hello. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Well, aren't you a bit pompous? Yes. I trust you're eager to face the Black Eagles in battle. Enjoy the thrill of anticipation while it lasts. Soon you'll wish you had chosen to lead our house instead. If you continue to insist on distracting me, I will have no choice but to get rid of you. Joking, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna walk away. Listen to this. Wow, Yuritsa sure seems strong. I kind of thought he was gonna be the new professor assigned to our class. After that teacher ran away during our outdoor training, I figured Yuritsa was a natural replacement. I was surprised when you were suddenly appointed professor instead. I don't think I could hold my own against Yuritsa in battle. Well, I could probably take you, though. 
Not a chance. You really think so? With enough training, I'm sure I'll beat you someday. What the? Sauna? I'm talking to you. You're not talking to me. Speak with the house leaders. Hi. Listen to this. Oh, it's just Casper. Okay, okay. Can't speak with you. Oh, there's Dimitri. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As this is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. Uh, facilities. Both students and teachers of the Officers Academy are free to use the facilities within the monastery. For example, you can dine with others at the dining hall, or partake in one-on-one -on -one combat at the training grounds. I encourage you to wander around the monastery and lend an ear to the people living here. Interesting. Bulletin board there request. There are bulletin boards in various places around the monastery. Have you seen them, Professor? There, you can find requests from various sources, as well as information about the market. If you fulfill these requests, you should eventually be able to use even more of the facilities here. The bulletin board gets updated frequently. You would do well to check it once a month. This probably goes without saying, but no matter which facility you use, it will take up a considerable amount of your time. It's helpful to plan out activities in advance, so that you don't mistakenly squander your time here. It's a bit like, ex it's a bit like Persona, then. Professors at the Officers Academy are expected to have exceptional leadership skills. Students and teachers alike must devote themselves to their studies and strive to acquire great wisdom even outside their respective fields. Okay. Professor. There's Claude and Hilda. Oh, Professor! Have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. I see you carry a blade, so you're, what, a mercenary in class? Hey, Teach, I hear there's gonna be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Not a chance. Hey there. Hi. I'm still trying to find my way around. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. I'm sure you will. I have a request. Grow plants in the greenhouse. Okay. Uh... Is there a map? Uh, this is my room. Oh good, there is a map. Oh, there's a fishing pond? Okay. Oh, excuse me. 
I'm a little confused on where I'm actually supposed to be going. Here are the dormitories, so I've unlocked this fast travel. Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. I'm sure you did. Um, I, uh, was just heading back to my room. Bye! <laughs> you poor thing. That'd be the dining hall. Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Professor, I've got a small favor to ask. Yeah, and I need to go to... There's the greenhouse and fishing pond. Sounds fun. The great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I'm I sure. Just forget all about my assignment. That's not a good yeah. idea. Okay, I can grow things in the greenhouse. Cool. Interesting. My thanks. I can only grow plants one thing at a time. Oh, did you come to look at the plants too? The greenhouse here is really incredible. I'm there sure are so it is. There so many rare flowers I'd never seen back home, and herbs I never even knew existed. I've never had much of an interest in plants, yet you seem well informed on the subject. My adoptive father is the real expert. He taught me everything I know about herbs, including how to tell them apart and how to make medicines. You should try looking around the greenhouse sometime if the mood strikes you. Maybe something will catch your eye. Neat. And here's the fishing pond. not been unlocked yet. There's the big guy. Petra. Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. I'm busy. Do you want something? Just saying hi. Nothing in particular right anyway. now. Watch it. I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't... Ugh. I, why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger.
sure. Today's dish was so good. Oh, but not as good as your homemade sweets, Mercy. <laughs> You're too kind. Maybe I'll bake some for you next time, Professor. Cool. Nice. I knew I could count on you. Yes, but I'm gonna end this one here because I've been going for a little over 40 minutes now. Thank you all for watching. Join me next time on Fire Emblem Three Houses as I continue on with the story. Probably get to that mock battle and see where we go from there. But until then, I am the Dark Seraph. Signing off.